Good morning, Tri-C Elementary. This is Principal Mrs. Forby, and today is Tuesday, October 24th. Happy birthday today to Mashaba Al-Sultan, Emma Harshman, Nora Ella Miller, Jacob Stokes, Ella Wade, and Elliot Stotler. Boys and girls, please join me for our moment of silence. Thank you. All right, now let's say our Tri-C vision. Together, creating relationships and inspiring all children. Now let's say our cool tool. We roar when we keep our school safe and clean. This week is Red Ribbon Week where we are focusing on healthy choices for our mind and body. Today is our favorite sports jersey or team shirt day for Let's Team Up for Good Choices. Tomorrow for Red Ribbon Week, it is we're ready to make good choices. So wear red for being ready to make good choices. That's all I have for announcements. Turning over to you, Principal Owens. Good morning, Tri-C Elementary. I'm in third grade in Ms. Stock's classroom. They're here to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Tri-C Creed. Would you please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will be prompt and well behaved. We will come to school prepared to learn, to listen, and to have fun. We will keep our school safe and clean and respect one another at all times. Fantastic job, third grade. Congratulations to River Holland, Piper, Braxton, Madison Abbott, Paisley Coffee, Cinder, Bryn Bashir, Payne Smith, Carter Page, Alyssa Collier, Kinsey Inman, Sage, Henry Baker, Logan Chassine, Logan Whitlock, Harper Hoff, Emma D, Logan Whitlock, <clears throat> Joniah Hart, Melanie Hux, Brianna, and Heaven Allen. Congratulations for signing the book of success. That's all we have for announcements, but stay tuned for one more of our featured guests for Red Ribbon Week. Have a great day. I must have fallen asleep. Sorry, friends. I was just reading a book to be kind to my mind like Miss Giblin told us about. This book's really cool. It's called Change Sings. Uh, we'll be reading this sometime soon this year. Um, I think you'll really like it. And reading is definitely a great way to be kind to your mind. Another way is through music. And here I, I turned on a really relaxing song. It's actually a lullaby. Um, so. Not a surprise that I fell asleep, right? Um, music can make us feel all kinds of things and help us to relax. And that's one way we can be kind to our mind. Um, what do you think this song might make you feel like? What about this one? How does this make you feel? Yeah, makes me feel like, puts me in a better mood if I'm having a bad day. Tell my feelings, my bad feelings hit the road, Jack. I want to see you no more. Remember kindergarten? This is by Ray Charles that you studied a few weeks ago. What about this song? How does this one make you feel? Oh yeah. How does this one make you guys feel? Does it make you want to dance and move and get you kind of excited? Me too. This would be a great song to get you pumped up for something like maybe the football, the high school playoff games that are coming up this weekend or something else exciting, a concert, like the Christmas things come around the corner. This is another way to be kind to your mind and have a good time with music. Okay, what do you think about this next one? That'll be our last one. How does this song make you feel? 
It's a lot of fun too, like the last one. This was our March Madness winner, and it was a fun way to be kind to our mind and have a fun game that we played. Uh, so friends, no matter what song it is, everybody has their own special songs that they like to sing or, or listen to. Um, singing songs or listening to songs uh, are a great way to be kind to your mind with music. Um, turn off your TV and have a family dance party and let music make you uh, feel good and have a great time with your family. Um, you can also learn an instrument. That's a wonderful way to learn. Making music uses your whole brain. So it's a wonderful way to be kind to your mind.